Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is a Tableau workshop on how to analyze university headcount by country of citizenship. So what we have here is a list of a bunch of Canadian universities, uh, country of citizenship, uh, or these probably Ontario universities, I should say, uh, headcount, and then I've added in the World Health Organization regions as defined by them. So what we're going to do now is connect using Tableau Public, which is free free to use. So we're going to go to University Enrollment. Give that a minute to connect. So now we have the data there. I'm going to call this University Ontario University Data. And we're going to connect. Let's give me that to extract. So the first dashboard we're going to do is we're going to create a map. And that map is going to be a fill map. And the fill is going to be based off of the head count. So what you'll see that, not surprisingly, most, most uh, people who study in Ontario are from Canada. So I'm going to actually adjust this so that we can actually see the difference between the various countries. And I'm going to adjust this to 15,000. Because then you can see like China has 20,000, India has 5,000. So you can see uh, how, many, how many students there actually are from other countries. So we're going to call that student map. And I'm going to add a few more things. I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to remove country. I'm going to keep country border. Move provinces. Turn this into normal. And then add coastlines. And then in addition to that, I'm going to add the country as a label. So you can see that there. So call it student map. And now what we're going to do is we're going to generate, uh, basically, they call it an area chart. So we're going to head count. And then I'm going to add one. I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to call this um, international, uh, international student. And then basically my formula, it's pretty simple. It's going to be if the country equals Canada, then no. Other else make it yes. And then end it. So I'm going to add that basically to our color range. International student. So we're going to do a quick workaround, <clears throat> and uh, the workaround is essentially, I've changed this to date already, even though it's not really a date, and there's a reason why, so that we can actually use this type of chart. So if I just move up here, now we have a chart of, of international and, and so orange being international, I'm actually going to change that. I'm going to change that to uh, red, being, uh, and then blue. There you go. So now I have the red being Canadian, blue being international. So let's add in the headcount. And we're going to call this uh, student count. And now we're going to add in another chart, which is essentially, we're going to change this back to a string. And we're going to add in the headcount. And then we're going to do a bunch of circles here. 
and then we're gonna add in things like a headcount. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll call it this uh, who region student population. So that's one thing to have the graphs. Next thing we're gonna do is actually combine them all together. First, gonna adjust this to be automatic. Move this, and then we're gonna add in. Oh no, not that one. Let's move it to the bottom, and let's remove some of these titles. Let's go fit to entire view. where they won't know, but it's not a problem. So let's hide indicator, and then we're going to move some of these. So let's do some minor formatting. Tableau action, so we're going to call this dashboard interactive. Select show field, there you go. And then now what we're going to do here is now you can see, you can see by, uh, for example, in Canada, where, where are they, uh, Americas, the region, where are they recruiting from? If you want to do the Eastern Mediterranean, you can see where where they define Eastern Mediterranean, the university counts, Western Pacific, so that's good. You can also go by country here, so you can click on Australia and see how they're recruiting there. Or you can even go by university and see globally where the footprint is. So my alter motto is University of Waterloo, so you can see where they've recruited from. And then, of course, you can make some adjustments here and there if you think this is too big or it doesn't need to be as big. You can adjust this size here. Yeah, so, and then we're going to have a title here. And we're going to call this 2014 Ontario U University Student Citizenship. Dashboard. So that will all fit. There you go. So, really quick and easy way of analyzing and creating a really interactive dashboard that will allow you to take a look at it and really understand where where your students are coming from. So you can really tailor your marketing efforts, or you can look if your university, of, if your Western University, you can look for where make masters recruiting, and really understand. Uh, whether or not you should be recruiting there as well. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And until next time, thank you.